recording. All right, so we're starting recording. Vanessa, if you come back, give me a shout out. But the incredible Vanessa Duplessis is here somewhere. I think she probably muted herself because something strange is going on. And then, of course, I'm not going to say it, Bob. I'm going to be <laughs> Bob Clark's on the line. Bob, yeah, I might say to, it later. It might it might slip the lip, but yeah, <laughs> just go see all, my Facebook wall. <laughs> guys, can you do me a favor and let's do a sound check? Can you raise your hands? Let us know that you can hear us or whether or not we're babbling in vain. Uh, if you just raise your hand, okay. Thank you, BJ. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Chuck. Chuck's got a good name. Very cool, yeah. Gloria. Everybody. Mr. Diego Diamantes here. All right, Joe, good to see you, man. H hello, hello. All right, I got Australia in the house. I'm excited. What time is it in Australia now? I always lose track. I'm still Australian. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning or something like that. Yeah, okay, so that works out. Scott Lindstrom, we need to talk tomorrow. Good to see you here. Hello, everybody, everybody, everybody. Tommy D's here. Tommy, we've been checking out all the pictures of your knees. We liked you. We enjoyed you in Vegas. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, if you have never been, what is that? It's like a time bomb? It's ticking? Okay, Vanessa came back. Oh, there you go. We asked, we wanted to know, why do you have a big N? Is it just cool? Is it, what is the, is there an inner secret to it? I always wanted to be famous and have a fancy signature. My dad still tells me that's not the name he gave me when I was born. However, I told him I didn't change the way I spelt it. I just changed the way I write it. I like so, it. So it was of you. Yeah. It wasn't of your parents. It was of you. Me, when I was 16, and I decided that I needed to be unique and out and and proud of myself. I love it. I That's love it. Cool. I think it's fabulously cool. My yes. name won't work like that, but you know. And I'll show. Maybe we could pull up your logos in a minute or something, Vanessa, or your new stuff. Uh, I don't know if I have it handy, but uh, everybody can see. But Vanessa Duplassi, and uh, we'll pull up sites in a few minutes. Guys, remind me so that everybody can get to know who you guys are that are over here with me. And and welcome everybody. If you've never been to one of my webinars. Um, they are unpredictable. They are out of control. You never know what we're going to do. Um, I'm generally misbehaved. If you're looking for a serious business webinar, this ain't it, um, you know, and that's that. But I will tell you that we're going to do some in-depth marketing training tonight, mindset, thought process training. I'm going to teach you some stuff that I learned many years ago that totally changed the face of my business. And um, up on the screen right now, I'm not thrilled with this picture, Kathy. I'll admit to you. That's a picture uh, from the new What's Working Now. I am finishing my reign as cover girl, but there is one in here, Kathy, that I like. I wanted to show you. That one's not bad. That one's cute. It's not bad. I, I, th I think that one's adorable. It's cute. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't like that one. We're skipping it. But I like this one. I like mm -hmm. this one. So I'm, you know, I like what it says, too. How to generate more free leads than you'll ever need on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or any other social network. Um, that was a webinar I just did uh, last week with What's Working Now, and that really is my specialty. I'm a social media branding positioning expert, attraction marketing expert. Been in the industry for, <laughs> Kathy, I'm getting so old, almost 13 years. When I get to summertime, I start counting up the year I round up because it sounds more impressive, yep. but I think I might start rounding backwards <laughs> pretty soon. <laughs> Uh, started when my kids were little. Let me show you guys something cool. Let's see what we got going on here. First, oh, that's Buster. Hey, Buster, I don't know if you came on, but there's your family. You got a good-looking family. Um, this is one of what our cool new guys that's family. working. Buster is here. Buster, shout out to you. Uh, beautiful family, great pictures. And I told Vanessa, dying to meet you. Um, man, oh, man, talk about somebody who's got a lot of marketing uh, goodness to work with. Um, so you just happen to be there. So you got a shout out to Buster. He's got a good name, too. I mean, it's just the whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the hat. Isn't it? Well, he's, uh, Vanessa told me he's a professional, like, rodeo dude. I mean, this is like the real thing. Oh. You're, a yeah. real, you're a real New Jersey guy, <laughs> and he's a real, he's a real <laughs> cowboy. You know? If I wear a hat like that in Jersey, I get killed. <laughs> I know, right? Rhinestone cowboy. Ah! <laughs> I double dog <laughs> dare you to go up to Newark <laughs> like that. I double dog <laughs> dare you. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll take you for Portuguese food after. All right. Uh, I just want to show It's good. Kathy, they have, in Newark, where we used to go all the time, they have the most incredible uh, Spanish and Portuguese food. Amazing. Okay. Anyway. I love it. I want to show you something, Kath, before we get into the mix, because I know Kathy will like this. What do you think, Kathy? 
I love that. Can you see it? Guys, for I those of you that don't that. know, that is the late, great Jim Rohn, business philosopher who changed so many lives. And those are my little pudding pies back when they were put in pies. This this was the day that Sarah needed to talk to Mr. Roan very importantly to get some business counseling. So um and I forgot I, I didn't have this picture on this computer and I was going through something online and I, I came across it and I just started laughing and I went, Oh gosh, that's uh that's precious. So um that is precious. My kids were really able to grow up um, with amazing access to amazing people. Um, this isn't just like one of those things where they got a picture. They, they really got to hang out with him and have uh, on several occasions. So, um, And I've gotten to spend a lot of time with Jim, so it's pretty cool. So I suppose we should do some work. What do you guys think? We have to? Well, we do. Okay. We do. People came here to learn then something let's do it. and do some then work. Let's do it all that other stuff. First of all, let me make sure you guys know, in case you were invited here by somebody and we haven't gotten to meet before. Were you going to say something, Kathy? It sounded like you were going to. Okay. You sounded like you were taking that breath that you take. <gasps> she was. Okay. You want um, me to tell you the truth? I was, I was stifling sneeze. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Um, Will you guys do me a favor while I bring up some stuff that my computer seems to be moving pretty darn slow, like molasses? Will you do me a favor? Will you write in the Q&A box, um, please write to me a topic that you are uh, seriously interested in learning about in marketing over the next couple of weeks um, and months and so on. Write down, you know, just, just go in the Q&A box there and write down, you know, something you're dying to learn about. I know I asked you to when you registered. I didn't get a chance to look at all of those. Um, so, and if guys, if we have not really gotten to know each other, this is my site, dianehockman.com. It ain't fancy, but it's got some good stuff. Um, make sure you're on my list, you know, uh, put in your name and email or click to connect with Facebook. Either one will do, um, so that you get stuff I send out. Um, and that's me. Let me pull up everybody just so you can see the peanut gallery. This is Vanessa. See the advantage of coming and hanging out with me on my webinar is you get, you get me to show off your sites. Let me get them all. Don't I have your blog in here, Bob? Oh, if you hit and. People are like, this is it. This is what I came for. She's just sitting here stumbling around on her computer. Kath, you still there? I hear the digital ding bat. Yeah. It takes me a while to type. All right, what am I, what am I typing wrong? Is it Bob and Rosemary? No Clark. No Clark? Oh, just Bob and Rosemary. Yep. See, talk about only needing one name. I mean, well, two names, but. And then we'll bring up Katerina, as we always do, so you guys can meet everybody. Okay, Vanessa, are you up? No, nobody's up. Computers, uh-oh. I have a funny feeling I'm going offline, Kathy. When it you starts think? doing this, that means um, my, wait, no, that's loading. Let's try this. Let's try this. Vanessa's not loaded. All right, guys, well, I apologize. Uh, the reason why we call them webinars gone wild is, generally speaking, um, if there's something that's going to go wrong during the webinar, Diane will make it go wrong. So welcome to my world. We'll pull them up as we, uh, as we go along. Um, I just wanted you guys to see. There's KathyHeath.com. There's the little lady herself. So we'll see if we can get the rest of those up. Guys, what I want to talk to you about tonight and it's what I said I was going to talk about on Facebook. Um, you know, I said something silly about uh, drop the hot dog and pay attention. We are heading into May, okay? Tomorrow starts May. I'm just scrolling down here on Facebook. Um, I want to read what I wrote because it was kind of fun. But maybe I can't find it because there's so much stuff on here. Um, every summer... Okay, this is what everybody does, okay? They get really excited in the spring, and April goes, and kind of mid-May goes, and by the time Memorial Day here in the States comes around, everybody gets super, here, Mavis sent it out for me, so it's there. Drop the hot dog and pay attention. While most are busy stuffing their faces and laying on the beach, smart business people are quietly plotting their global domination. And when are they doing this, and how are they doing this? Um, find out tonight. So that's what we're going to find out tonight. See guys, there is a natural 
ebb and flow, whoops, wrong button, natural ebb and flow to business. Um, if you've hung around me for any period of time, you've heard me talk about it, and most people still, even though they hear me talk about it, and even though it makes sense, they don't really dig into this. And guys, if you dig into this, you can make so much more money. If you're making a little, you can make a lot. If you're making a lot, you can make a killing. And it's the same ebb and flow that every business takes advantage of. In fact, it was funny when Kathy and I were on the phone this morning, she was, as usual on Mondays, going, what are you talking about tonight? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and she's like, I need a headline. i got to write an email. Well, she didn't sound like that, but it sounded funny, didn't it? <laughs> it didn't sound funny, but I don't sound like that, do I? <laughs> Where do I do my Bob impression? <laughs> okay. Kathy, Kathy does not sound like that. But anyway, <laughs> Bob, Bob doesn't either. <laughs> no, no, Bob doesn't sound like that. I, it came out of me, and I was like, Kathy doesn't sound like that. She goes, good morning, beautiful. What's the headline for tonight? And then I go, I don't know, Kathy, because it's 10 o'clock in the morning, and I haven't even thought of anything yet. And she's like, well, I need a headline. <laughs> was that better? It was closer. <laughs> good morning, beautiful. So anyway, Kathy's like, I need a headline for tonight's webinar. And I'm like, I don't know, Kathy. And then all of a sudden, I come out with drop the hot dog. And, and I'm a good copywriter, usually. So Kathy goes, well, uh, yeah, but it's too early for hot dogs. And I said, oh, yeah? Pull out your supermarket ad. Pull out any supermarket ad anywhere in the United States this week that started yesterday on Sunday. I promise you there's hot dogs, corn on the cob, and like London broil or steaks on sale this week. I challenge you. Now, somebody's going to write me back on Facebook, that's not what's on sale at my supermarket. Okay. <laughs> but most of your supermarkets, that's what's on sale. Why? Because mentally, when the clock ticks over to May 1st, our thoughts turn to summer. And every supermarket on the planet knows what we want to buy this week because mentally, we want it to be summer. We want to think about vacation. And luckily, here in the Connecticut area, we're going to get a little warmer at the end of the week. So gosh knows, on Thursday and Friday, everybody's going to be down at Stop and Shop or Price Chopper or whatever, picking up their hot dogs, picking up their corn on the cob, and they're going to have their, what I call, make-believe barbecue this weekend where they're making believe it's summer. Now, it's not yet, but we want it to be. Now, if people are this predictable, I'm going to write this down, people are predictable. And every business knows what people are going to do. If you think they don't, I promise you they do. Go down to Home Depot right now. And what are you going to find in the seasonal section? Peanut Gallery, what will you find them selling in the seasonal section right now? Gardening stuff. Gardening Plants, stuff. What else? And fertilizers yep. and hoses and yep. barbecues. And barbecues and patio sets and, and tiki torches and all that stuff. Now, we really don't, the gardening stuff we need now. But the rest of it, we don't quite need it yet, but it's on our minds. In fact, the patio sets came in a month ago. They, came, they, were, they were putting them up at the end of February. Okay, So two months ago. So retailers, businesses... Do you think Apple doesn't know who's going to buy what when? Why do they offer a back-to-school special every single year if you buy your Mac during these weeks and you have a student ID, you get a free iPod with it? They do it every single year. Why? Because every kid in America knows they're going off to college and everybody kid in America knows that if their parents buy them their Mac, they're going to get a free iPod. How many more computers does Apple sell? Because they know this. Every business knows what people are going to do. The stock market, people who, you know, who are day traders and stuff, they know what people are going to do. Isn't it about time that you knew what people are going to do? And if you started to market, hello, welcome to my typing, by the way, market mm -hmm. into, excellent, <laughs> the seasons. It's really bad today. I was typed a lot. My, my wrists and fingers hurt. If you market into the seasons and you market into the natural flow of people, excellent, you score. Kathy, I don't know how I adopted this new thing about typing in front of people. What, what is the worst thing I could possibly do in front of people? 
other Type. than like get naked. <laughs> you know? Type. Type. So Type. where did I start this new trend of me typing in front of people? I don't, I don't, know. I, I don't know, but you've been doing it for a while now. And I kind of like it. You know, your typing's actually getting better, Diane. So no, it's not, Cappy. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's not. Okay. So is everybody with me so far? Bye. Let me, let me lower the hands. Let me lower them down. Is everybody with me so far? Do you all agree and understand that people are predictable, that big businesses all know what people are going to do, that you can market into the seasons? And if you start to understand this, you can score big in your business. So one guy gets it. Excellent. One guy, okay, and Jasmine gets it. Awesome. Everybody else is sleeping. <laughs> Lisa Chong, you need to go to bed. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. You're crazy, girl. I miss you already. So, oh, Lisa's here. That's cool. All right, so you guys get it. I could tell that some of you guys get it, okay? So the rest of you guys are doing six things. They're playing on Facebook while they're listening, Kathy. That's what yeah. they're doing. They're excellent. So sip of water here. So here's how things work. You, and, and some of you guys are going to go, oh, I can't believe I'm listening to this webinar. I've heard this before. I've had people go, oh, you're teaching something that I've heard that before. And this is where I heard it. And my answer to them always is, that's great. You've heard it. Have you used it? That's right. I don't care if you heard it. What I care, poor, poor Buster, Vanessa, he's like, oh, my gosh, what did I get myself into? <laughs> I thought I was coming to listen to a nice lady. She's all, <laughs> she's all crazy. <laughs> he knows but, I would never steer him wrong. All right, good, 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 because I, I always worry. I mean, when, they, when they're people that know me, it's one thing, but when they're new, referred by somebody else, I, I get frightened for you guys. <laughs> anyway, um. Uh, I don't know. I got so busy talking about Buster because I like his hat so much. I kind of lost my trade of thought. Oh, 90-day plans. Okay. What? Oh, people saying that I've heard this before. And I'll tell you, everybody talks a good game. But if I've seen five people in my whole 13-year career that have actually followed through on a 90-day plan and actually learned this concept and utilize it, it's a lot. Now, maybe that's fresh. Maybe that's rude. But I'm here to help you make it to the top. Okay, I do these calls on Mondays for fun because I like it because I like I like my soapbox. Okay, I like to help people out. The majority of the people that um, come to these things, you know, we're not in the same companies. We're not really affiliated business wise. They just come down. I just do it to help people out. And I don't care whether we're related business wise or not. I just want to see some more people have what happened to me happen to them. Okay, guys, I went from mopping floors. I'm not kidding. In fact, I was in the supermarket that I used to work in, mopping floors. Today, I went there today. I go shopping every week in that supermarket, and every week I thank God for what's happened to me. Because I look around, and I remember at night mopping those floors. I went from mopping floors to speaking on the biggest stages in the industry. And... Before we go forward with the ebb and flow of the seasons and stuff, we really gotta we gotta look at a couple pictures. I think it's only the right thing to do. Uh, this weekend, uh, all all of us guys that are over here, we were at the No Excuses Summit, and in Las Vegas. And Kathy, would it be fair to say we had a good time? Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> I crashed I crashed Vanessa's room. She had a very posh room and I had a room somewhere else. So I just decided to crash Vanessa's room. Um and you and, brought me in at 4:30 in the morning. Yep, I, del I I tell your husband it was all my fault. <laughs> and and we had a we had a great time and I'm going to show you a couple pictures um before we get back to the lesson. Here is Tim Irway, uh the CEO of Magnetic Sponsoring kissing me. And I have a new product coming out. It's about how to get the guru of your choice to kiss you in public. Um, <laughs> Mark Hoverson, who's on the right, who is a, I don't know, how many figures is he earning now? 22,000 million figure earner or whatever it is. Every week it's bigger. A month. Yeah, a Mark month. kissed me on stage. I got Irway to kiss me in a picture. So my deal is if you want to get a guru to kiss you, and gentlemen, this works for you too. I could teach you how to get the chicks to kiss you. Kiss you. By the way, disclaimer, I'm a, a happily married, almost 22-year woman. Um, but you know what, if I could get a, a, a kiss from a rich cutie, I'm all up for it. So uh, this is these guys, um, 
let's see. These are the glow in the dark better networker shirts. Um, and if you if you're really cool, you got one of these. Um, I have one of these. And um, they glow in the dark. They have battery packs, conveniently removable. Um, so they were really fun. Uh, and these are just some, some fun pictures so you can get an idea of all the craziness and all the fun and all the gallivanting we had. Oh, there's, there's a good picture. There we go. Uh, to the left is Vanessa. In the middle is Bobby Boy. And to the right is me. And uh, his, Bob's lovely wife, Rosemary, took the picture. So that's us guys, you can see. Uh, and I'm just looking for one in particular, but you can see how much fun we were having. Oh, there's my other smooch picture. Oh, there's Andrew. Yeah. What? Did I? Pa oh, I passed. I'm I'm ahead of you guys. I'm up to Jordan and Ann. Uh, Jordan Chandler. <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> it's, I just mess, I, I mix them together. This is Jordan Schultz and Adam Chandler. I just call them Jordan Chandler. It's just a group. They're pretty much joined at the hip. <laughs> <laughs> they are interchangeable. <laughs> I know. So this is my other guru, guru kissing uh, picture. But I'm looking for, oh, this is us in the bathtub. Don't ask. That was at the private mastermind. <laughs> uh, Matt DeMeo, who works with me at Numis Network, he said, this is a nice picture, I thought. I thought we looked good. Hey, it's a good picture. It is, isn't it? Maddie and I look good. Yeah. Brian Cole, up and coming rock star, 22 years old. Um, I always tell people, you know, there's uh, Duke. Uh, and Brian, uh, Norbert Orlowitz, uh, one of the founders of MLSP. Um, oh, we're back full circle. Where's the picture I'm looking for? Wait a minute. Wait for it. I'm trying to prove to these people. Let's see. I'm punchy tonight, Kathy. I'm sorry. Uh, you're allowed. No, you may not be, but oh, okay. Here we are. Um, I said I went from mopping floors to speaking on, you know, the biggest stages at the biggest events, and there, there's the proof <laughs> that I was just up on the stage with, uh, you know, these these people across the stage alone. If you were to add up the incomes, it would be an astronomical figure. So it's really an honor, and um, you know. Let's get back to the last. Oh wait, we got to put this one up though, because I think this one is probably the most important one. <laughs> Kathy, <laughs> me, <laughs> be jeweled <laughs> and be dazzled <laughs> in something called the chandelier bar. So uh, that was fun. You got anything else good? Oh, and this is a whole gang at our mastermind. Notice I'm wearing my tiara, which is very important. So anyway. Um, to get back to this, I just want to show you a little lifestyle and a little bit of the fun we have. If you were there, you know how much fun we had. If you weren't there, oh, wait, wait, there's one more. Uh, can I make it bigger or no? I don't know if I can. No, it's going to a thing. This is, uh, you can't really see it. It's me and Vanessa in the photo booth. <laughs> we had a good time, Vanessa. <laughs> it's a good time. We did, we did. <laughs> All right, anyway, back to the lesson. That was a commercial break. Um... Where'd my notepad go? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I learned a long time ago, and what took me from, you know, mopping floors in a supermarket to what you just saw was understanding these cycles. And what we do in our businesses is we work in 90-day plans, okay? And a lot of people, they overcomplicate this and they overthink this, okay? What we're looking to do is pick three, two, three, you know, up to five, depends on you, methods of marketing that will bring people towards us, okay? If you're really high tech and fancy, you're working on the internet, you got capture pages and systems and tools, and, you know, I could talk to you guys about that another day, but tonight's a concept call. Um, and if you're working offline, it's just really a matter of, you know, getting the phone to ring, okay? But we need three to five methods, And, you know, some people say pick one and focus on it, but often you can pick one or two that are interrelated. Like, let's say you pick Facebook and Twitter or Facebook and YouTube. They're kind of interrelated, so it's not so much that you're learning 10,000 things. But you want so many methods that bring people towards you. <clears throat> and I'm about to show you why. If you do not work this summer... A lot of you guys are thinking it's not anywhere near summer. Oh, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. If you do not work this summer, and if you do not pay attention now, 
Here comes the dum 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 doom and gloom Hawkman as she rolls it out. You're totally going to screw up your 2013. I'm going to prove it to you right now. And now, is it not to say that you can't goof off all summer and pick up and do okay? You can. But there's a natural ebb. And if you take, it's like the, it's like the ocean, guys. If you, if you get on a wave and you ride it, you're going to have a lot more fun getting your boat where, where you want to go than if you're sitting there, you know, paddling all by yourself. You get awful tired when you're paddling that hard. It's a lot more fun to just ride the wave into shore. Okay? Ride the wave into payday. So, here's how it works. The year works in quarters, okay? You guys have heard this in business, right? First quarter reports, you hear it on the news. It's like CNBC. We just, to just this just in, the retail report to the second quarter of 2012, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Your business works in quarters as well. So it's January to March, okay? April to June. Excellent typing, excellent typing. I reinforce myself. Uh, July to September. and October to December, okay? That's the four quarters, pretty much basic business knowledge. So here's how it works. We want to take advantage of when people are naturally moving. And in order to do that, we need to build momentum while everybody's snoozing and not really paying attention. So when the marketplace hits critical mass and they're ready to take out their wallet, which they will be, and here's the deal. When they're going to take out their wallet, they're going to buy. They're going to buy from you or they're going to buy from someone else. It's up to you. But I promise you they are going to buy. And what I knew is that I wasn't really skilled at selling and I wasn't really uh, really a skilled closer. Remember, this is years ago when I had little kids and I was figuring all this out. But what I knew is if I placed myself in front of a hungry mass of people that were ready to buy, my chances were better than if I was in a dead market. Does that make sense? Let me put the hands down. Let's see if everybody's kind of with me. And Kath, if you keep an eye in case anybody has a question, um, that'd be good. So guys, does that make sense by a show of hands? Um, and Kathy, interrupt me if there's something relevant, okay? I will do that. Vanessa Buster says it makes sense, so I'm doing good. If the new guy, if the new guy's with me, <laughs> Vanessa's going to kill me tomorrow. She's like, why are you talking about it? Okay. Janelle, what are you doing here? We're, what, we're, what are, we're side texting. What? Oh, are you side texting? Is he saying things about me? <laughs> you can thing. tell me. I won't be hurt. It, it's okay. <laughs> He's got good-looking kids, man. All right, uh, Janelle Wright, you two go to bed. You guys are crazy. I can't believe the people in Europe are here. It's just like you guys are nuts. Like Michelle DeMarco, you're here twice. I find that confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle DeMarco, who, by the way, is going to Cancun with me, baby. Yeah, baby. Um, there's two of her. It's kind of scary. Yeah, I see that. That's kind of strange. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, she's probably like Julie Salgado, logged in 62 times to record on this <laughs> circuit and do this. Hi, Jules. <laughs> Hugs. All right, so everybody understands. So um, if we start, now I know it's only May and we're in the middle of the second quarter, but here's my deal. I don't think that December counts. I think that December, now have I done business in December? Yes. Can you do business in December? Yes. Am I saying, give, you know, stab yourself if you're <laughs> starting trying to do business <laughs> in December? No. But I think that when we get to November 20-something and the turkey's on the table, apologies to all of you in Europe, I don't know what you guys do in November, but you'll fill me in. Um, but around here, we're eating turkey at the end of November. And once the turkey's on the table, we are bloated, fat, tired, overwhelmed, busy shopping for our kids, and we cannot get focused on any of this stuff. Okay, the buyers can't get focused and the marketers generally can't get focused. By the way, anytime everybody else is goofing off and not paying attention, that's when you want to work your tushy off. Oh, do I work in December? Kathy, do I work in December? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because December to me is like gold month. But anyway, so the reality is that we're really starting second quarter, you know, we're really getting ready to 
<clears throat> close it out even though, you know, it's really, we're really in the middle of it. We're really only one month in. So here's what happens. June, July, and August, as soon as Memorial Day comes, which is four weeks from now, not even, as soon as Memorial Day comes, as soon as everybody's figured out, I already put my bathing suit on, it doesn't fit, I bought a new one, I'm fat, I'm not going to lose weight anyway. Okay. By the way, weight loss, if you're selling health, nutrition, wellness, weight loss, they generally give up about June 15th to July 3rd. They try to look good for 4th of July, but after that, they're like, I'm a pig, what the heck? <laughs> okay, so, so I'm sorry. Come on, is it true or is it not true? It's so true. It's like, look, it ain't happening. Might as well have another dog and give me a beer, you know. Um, it's true. It's true. If you're selling investments and this and that, everybody already bought their boat if they were getting one. They already did this. They already did that. They booked their vacations and paid for them a while ago. So it's not like it's February and they're like trying to get their dream vacation, okay? If you're selling travel, generally by July, everybody's already booked their travel and they don't have a travel membership on their mind, okay, during that time period. Am I right or am I right, guys? You're right. You know? You're um, right. That's you know, true. I mean, it is what it is, you know, and I know we can all be happy, slappy, clappy, and go, it can be sold any time, and this and that, and of course, you can sell any time, and I sell all the time, but here's the deal, when everybody's asleep, excellent, I can't make my fingers go that way, when everybody is asleep, that is when you sneak in, and give them the whammy. Okay. See guys, marketing is preparing people to buy. <laughs> what did I write the other day, Kathy? <laughs> or Tracy, Tracy Housel saw it. Uh, marketing is preparing people to buy, not annoying the crap out of them. <laughs> That's what I wrote. <laughs> I'm putting on my tiara, by the way. I'll have you all. Oh no, I can't with my headset. I was going to put on my tiara, but I can't. Yeah, darn it. Um, my tiara is cool. I'm going to make some videos with my tiara, Kathy. You should. You should. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it's very cool. And the children took turns wearing it the other night for movie night. I'm sure so they did. <laughs> so when everybody else is sleeping, you're going to sneak in. And marketing, what it is, is it's preparing people to buy. If you work a 90-day plan now, okay, now, You'll pick up the tail end, and I love doing these calls when the next day is the beginning of a new month. It's great if it's the beginning of a new quarter, it's not, but it is the beginning of a new month, okay? If you set yourself up on a 90-day plan now, right, and then you go and you back-to-back -back it with another 90-day plan, here's what happens. Everybody's seen you all over. You've been putting out content, whether you're doing flyers and postcards and stuff offline, or whether you're doing videos and audios and articles and blog posts online. People have been seeing you all over. And the reason why it's so wonderful to do it now is because everybody else, people are still doing it now, but you're going to watch them. Mark my words, they will trickle off. And all of a sudden, all the social media sites that used to be jam-packed with 4 million posts and information, all of a sudden, everybody's eating hot dogs, and there's only a couple of guys left. Mm -hmm. And I watch it every single year. Yeah. And whoever keeps going through that time period and builds their list and their database through that time period, here's what happens. It's magic. What happens every August to every, Vanessa, I will interview you. You are our representative mother here. Not that Kathy and I aren't mothers, but you have small children. Vanessa, how, yes, old, are, I do. how old are your kids? Five and eight. No, five and eight. So they qualify as small children. Um, what happens, now, if Washington State is weird, I'm going to come out and beat them up. But generally, what happens in September, August and September, across America for families with small children? The school, back to school panic. Yes. They go back to school. Okay. 
and moms everywhere running around buying backpacks and crayons and this and that and pencils and erasers, etc., etc., etc. And families are busy, you know, putting away the summer stuff and everything else, yada, 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 getting in last licks, last time out on the boat. Vanessa has a yacht. We'll talk about that another day. Um, I'm coming out there, man. It sounds pretty good digs. I may not come home, though. You might. I'll become the nanny. I'll be the nanny. I'll be yeah, there you go. Bring, I'll be the the bring Larry. I'll be there. Yeah, and he'll, he'll be the butler. It'll be good. There you go. So <laughs> everybody's running around, and they start to batten down the hatches. And I'm not kidding, Bob. It sounds like a good life out by Vanessa. So. I don't know what you got. I'll check you out later. If you, you know, you don't have a yacht to go on the river, do you? No. You better check with Larry first, though. Okay. Well, no, I don't mean with you. I mean both of us. You know, if I no, no. I'm about, I mean about him being a butler. Oh, yeah. He will if they're going to keep us. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Forget this marketing well, gig. You know? well, wait, just, wait. You, you need a cook, don't you? You see? We're all coming with this. <laughs> she's party. I, I haven't eaten Kathy's food except for brownies, but when she describes what she's cooking, it sounds pretty good. So, Anyway, um, everybody's going back to school. They're battening down the hatches. They're starting to put the stuff away. And what happens is the first time that the cool wind blows, that's what I call this. Let me turn around and type. I'm sitting here with my – when the cool wind blows, everyone is buying. Why? Why is everybody buying stuff when the cool wind blows? And that depends geographically on where you live. But it's systematic every single year. Because a new season brings new hope, renewal. Cool air is coming in. People are looking for change. They're looking for home businesses. They're looking to lose weight again because they can't put their jeans on. Okay? Every season we have this. But I'm going to show you why this particular season is the most important one of the year. So they're looking to buy. They're buying weight loss. They're buying biz ops. They're buying travel things because they're starting to plan their holiday and February trips. Okay, because as soon as the weather starts to turn, they start thinking about, oh, my God, February is coming. We need to go to an island. So whatever you're selling, in the blink of an eye, everybody's buying. Now, here's the mistake that everybody makes. They think the time to market is then. And it is. But the time to market is the 90 days before then so that you are at the top of the mind of the consumer or the prospect. Do you guys get this? Let me put down the hands again because I need some feedback. Do you guys understand why now is so much more critical than then? Hands mm -hmm. are going up. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. So, and then here's what happens, and here's how it parlays. You parlay into the fall. Things rock because you've done your work, because you've built your list, because you've learned how to make offers, because you've studied, because you've learned how to recruit in social media, because you've learned how to attract a crowd, because you actually have that list going. Things are cranking. Because you did the work. You did your 90-day plan, and now you're in your second 90-day plan. First 90-day plan. 90-day uh, plan creates momentum. Second 90-day plan. I, I don't know, Kath. I, I should give this up. People are like, why didn't you make slides? Guys, because I'm a busy mother and I was making dinner. So give me a break. Right. So you sustain the momentum, okay? You level off, right? So you work over the summer, creates, 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 like dog crate, creates momentum. You get some momentum, okay? During the second 90-day plan, which is happening in the fall, what you got going on here is you got a plateau you're sustaining, okay? This is awesome because this is carrying you through the end of the year. Now, again, in November, whoops, everybody starts snoozing. And everybody else goofs off and they don't do their work because they're busy, you know, clinking champagne glasses, da 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 you know, and all that good stuff is going on. And everybody's not paying attention. You're busily marketing. You're in some good training. You're working with good people. You're really keeping your eye on the ball so that you're sustaining your momentum. And then get this. Get this. If you don't get this, I don't know what to do for you. How's that, Bob? I'm so fresh. <laughs> 
That's why we love you. Yeah, yeah. As, as they all type behind my back on Skype, she's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not advantage. Advance. Okay. What happens is what does everybody want to do on December 26th? Ta-da! They want to buy. They want to change their life. They're making New Year's resolution. They have to buy a weight loss program that they, of course, will not start until January 2nd, until the last bonbon has been eaten, until the last cookie crumb is gone. They want to change their lives. And so you advance the momentum because you have an explosion. Now, can you start this cycle any other time of the year? Yes, you can, but it's never as effective as if you start it right now, okay? Now, I'm usually doing this call really closer to Memorial Day, but I think this year in particular is critical. I'm doing this call, I, I do this call almost every year because I think that every year people need to hear this so that they could look back a year later and go, boy, she told me that last year and I didn't do it. Um, <laughs> And, and I know there's people here right now shaking their heads going, she told me that last year and I didn't do it. And a bunch of people who didn't make it tonight all send out the audio recording of this and they'll go, oh gosh, she told me that last year and I didn't do it. Um, and I can show you myself doing this every single year for probably, what, the last five, six years, Kath? And, and it's a handful of people have done this. If you do it any other time of the year, will you become successful? Absolutely, because anybody that sustains a 90-day plan and follows through every single day is going to score no matter what. But if you do it this time of the year, you catch double wind, you know, like the wind in your sails, because you catch the fall buying cycle and you catch the January buying cycle, which is the biggest one of all. There is not a single person on the line that can tell me that you have not bought stuff at the end of the year and in January because you were going to change your life. You've done it every year of your whole life, as does everybody else. The marketplace knows that people are doing this, which is why they're advertising right into the consciousness of the people. You now understand the cycle. I've given you gold. The question is, will you use the cycle? Or will you be like everybody else that by the time July rolls around, you get distracted and you give up? The reason why I've been able to parlay my business bigger and bigger and bigger every single year, for those of you that have known me, you know it's true. The reason why is because I have practiced what I've preached. Used this cycle and created the momentum. And when you get to a certain point, by the way, guys, if you do three, if you do a 90-day plan, you're going to be in good shape. If you do two 90-day plans, you're going to be in really good shape. But I'll tell you right now, if you do three 90-day plans, you probably never have to work very hard ever again. And that's why people see me fooling around and having so much fun and yada, yada, yada. Because I have a list. I send out, I send out an offer. People pay me. Uh, I want to recruit people. I send out an email. People sign up. Uh, I'm speaking at an event. I send out an email. People show up. Because I did this. If you do this, you will be in the one half of 1% of this industry. You will be getting a kiss from Tim Irway just like me. <laughs> now, guys, you may not want one, but I still would take it because I think the man's like magic. So I know, Bob, you're like queasy about it, but I, I would take the kiss from Irway. I don't know. It's like he, kissing the godfather's yeah. ring. He is cute. He, I, he's way <laughs> cute. And he buys the drinks. And what more can you ask for? I'm so glad Bob's here with us. <laughs> Bob and Rosemary dot com. Bob and Rosemary dot com. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> it's a plug. <laughs> so, so I'm done. This is what I want to do. I want to look at Kath. Can you look at earlier? I asked people to write in yep. um, the stuff that they want to learn about. Yep, but before we do that, Diane, we actually have a question about what you just talked about. No, I don't want to. I don't want to answer questions. They didn't. They didn't. Oh, stop. Okay. <laughs> yes, you do. It Who says, asked it? I may not want to answer it. No. Ryan K. Ryan, I don't know you, so you're okay. All right, you're allowed. Okay. One question. He yeah. asks, "Do you do this every year, or do you mean to get serious and do this one year and profit from it for years?" Yeah, that's what I just said, Ryan. If you do this one time, if you do this this year, you will have built a list and built your credibility, so on and so forth. You probably, you know, you'll have to, for another year or two, you'll have to put in a certain amount of effort. But once you get to a certain point, um, 
it just it's just it's just it's just a machine. Mm-hmm. It's just a machine. Like people are always like asking me questions about generating leads and all this other stuff. I'm like, I don't know, they just come in. And I'm joking, but I'm not. If I want to run ads and I want to do a campaign, I can generate a lot of leads, but the reality is the reputation that you build takes on a life of its own and the leads just come. Mm-hmm. Now, people get upset with me. I have colleagues that get upset with me when I talk about this because they don't want me to give you the wrong idea. Did I work my tushy off while I was doing this over here? Um, you have no idea. And by the way, when I switched venues, I was with a, a particular program for many years, and then I kind of switched over and got into all this social media and attraction marketing and stuff. When I switched, did I have to kind of start all over again because what I had built didn't really apply to where I wanted to go? Yeah. Did I work like crazy? Yeah. So do I want to give you guys the idea that I just sit around and sip out of a coconut and have, you know, massage boys rub my feet or anything? Um, they do. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but... But that's not true, you know, and you really have to understand what you have to put into it to get it going. But it's like a fire. Have you guys ever, I don't know how many of you guys have a fireplace. Do any of you guys have a fireplace? Yeah. No? None of you guys? No, not me. No? Well, he lives in the New York metropolitan area, so, okay, we'll give you a pass. Kathy, do you have one or no? I did. I don't at this time. Okay. But okay. But you've had. But you've made a fire before in your life. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. You know how you have to like work work really hard to get it going, and you're like trying to. You know, you're putting in newspaper or whatever, and you're trying to get the thing going, or maybe you have some fluid stuff that you're putting on it, and you're trying to get this sucker going. We do them in the backyard all the time in the summer, and it's like you can't get that sucker going. But once it's going, for hours, all you got to do is toss a log on every once in a while. It just keeps burning. It's like a furnace. That's what your business can be like. When you have that momentum and it's even, all you got to do is toss a log on periodically. You know, do a webinar, do a joint venture. Uh, maybe you'll do, you know, run some ads or something like that. But generally, the list is like self-perpetuated. The referrals and so on. So I hope that answers the question. Um, do I work? Of course I do. Um, but do I have to work hard like I did back in the day? No. No. And again, some of my colleagues don't want me to talk about it, but it is my reality. So I like to tell what is my truth. Um, other people, they, they continue to work very, very hard, but I just don't understand that. I'm lazy, and I was always looking for – I used to watch the guys that were big in the industry – and I like the ones that were, like, out on their boats and playing golf. And then they'd make, like, $800,000 a year. I thought they were the cool ones. Not the ones that were doing 20. I, I mean, I watch some people. It's like, we have a webinar at 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And we'll do one right now if you want. It's like, why would you want to do that all day? I want to be with my kids. I want to get a pedicure, you know. I don't know about you guys. but So that's just me. Anyway, uh, do we have any other questions? Mm-hmm. What now? Stephen says, being new to this industry, I started the beginning of April. Typically, how long does it take for this to start producing results? Um, 90 days. 90 days. 45 days, you'll see a trickle. 90 days, you'll start to see some action. Most people quit by 22 days at the most. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 90 days at least. Um, it really takes 90 days to see see it going on. And you have to be extremely consistent. Yep. Okay. But that doesn't mean, I, I just say, that doesn't mean you're making, you know, a million dollars in 90 days. No, 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 no. I'm talking about generating leads and having some action. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, I, I test this every time. Any time that I do have somebody that my favorite person ever um, who did this was a, a young woman named Cassie Strom. You can look her up on Facebook. She left the industry because she really is a very talented photographer, and she really got her confidence through all of this stuff um, and decided to go do photography full time. And now she's, they're literally flying her around the world to do photography. I'm so proud of her and so pleased. But when Cassie was learning about social media and she was doing video marketing and stuff, we told her 90 days every single day, like clockwork, you'll start to see something in 45 days, and by 90 days, things will be going. And Cassie was naive, just like I was when I started. And I went, okay, they said so. I think I'll do it. And I remember her calling one day. Actually, she called Kristen, who was uh, her sponsor. And um, 
the two of them called me, and Kristen's giggling because she had worked a 90-day plan many times and knew how it worked. And Cassie was like ranting and raving that she had leads coming in, and people were calling her, and she couldn't believe it. And I went, great. Um, so Cassie, how many days have you been doing this? She goes, I don't know. I said, get out your calendar and look. And she counted, and it was day 44. And anybody that ever does it, they generally start calling me up freaking out because it's working. And it's generally right around day 45. They're seeing all the signs. Mm -hmm. um, and, then, and then the question becomes, does somebody follow through? Does it work? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it works. So. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce this name. A-I-S-A-K-E. Isaki. I don't know, um, but it's a cool name. It's a very cool name. I see name. it here. Yeah. So do you mean that each 90-day plan sequence has different marketing methods, or can they all be the same? They can all be the same. Or you can add something on as you go along and get more experience. Like you might graduate from one method. Guys, the deal is you have to have three to five methods that you know how to do today. What happens is a lot of times people make a 90-day plan, and they go, here's my 90-day plan. I'm going to do video marketing. Okay, great but they've never taken a video, they don't own a video camera, and they've never edited a video. So therefore, they really can't count that as a method of marketing yet because they don't know how to do it. Does that make sense, you guys that are here? So, because yep, if they're learning to do it, days are ticking away. You need things that you know how to do today, and then maybe you eschew, I'm using a fancy word, you get rid of a marketing method like you were doing flyers or you were doing forum posting or something. You get rid of that marketing method because now you know how to do something more sophisticated. We're always looking for leverage. I mean, if you can learn how to do things that have leverage in them like running solo ads or, you know, there's, there's so many methods and we can't get into them tonight. We don't have the time. Um, but sometimes you dump a method that's more time intensive because you've become more skilled or you now have some money to spend on advertising. So hope that answers that question. Okay. Okay, Julie wants to know, are there certain specific things that you would recommend doing in that first 90-day period regardless of the industry? Regardless of the industry. I don't know what that means. <coughs> I'm not sure, meaning regardless of what you're selling? Maybe Julie could clarify that. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan and advocate of video marketing. I think that video marketing is extremely effective. I made my name with video marketing, and it doesn't matter what you're selling. If people can feel you up, uh, Bob, really quick, and guys, we're running out of time, and I want to tell you about something very special that's going on. Bob, can you share with everybody what happened to you recently? You just recently, you were making a lot of tutorial videos and pretty straight videos, and you don't have to tell people what the video was about. They could go find it. But tell everybody what happened when you made a video that was a little bit more personal. How was the response different? It was very cool. Um, the, probably the first really personal video that I did, and I within 24 hours I had more likes and more comments on that one video than I had in any video I, I'd ever done, which yeah. is about three years. So, yeah, it's powerful, As, very powerful. If people can feel you, <clears throat> what does that mean? If people can feel your integrity coming through, or your heart coming through, or your knowledge coming through, you're their, their connection to you becomes much stronger than if it's just something in writing. So, again, a lot of people are afraid of video, worried about video, all that other stuff. But if there's one thing that I've seen make people successful very, very fast, um, and we just recently had an episode with a gal who uh, just kept saying she couldn't do videos, and we kept pushing her, kept pushing her. She made a video, the first video out of the gate, the whole world responded to. By the third, fourth video, everybody was talking about her. So, and this is a person who had no experience and made her first video with bad hair, so to speak, because that was her excuse that she had her hair was messy, and she went out and did it anyway. And everybody fell in love with her, and she's on her way to being a you know a real social media rock star. Um, so, I, I'm a big advocate of video. Get over your fears and focus on helping some people, and that makes a difference. So, guys, I'm not going to take any more questions out. I will after, but I want to finish up uh, as we come up on the hour. I just want to let you guys know that, um, get rid of this, every year 
I do um, something real special. Um, it's called summer school. Um, if you are on my list at dianehockman.com, you got a letter about it today. Um, if you're not on my list, I'm just going to give you some information. I'll tell you where you can go find out some more. But what I do is a 12-week, notice at 12 weeks, guess what 12 weeks equals? 90 days. <laughs> She's done. Uh, 90 days, um, 12 weeks of classes on every aspect of marketing. We cover, and, and the reason why I asked Kathy, and you can glance what people said they wanted to learn about, because we cover Facebook, lead generation, Twitter, lead generation, video marketing. This is terrible. Now, video marketing and YouTube marketing are two different things, by the way. Video marketing is the actual aspect of creating it and that type of stuff. YouTube marketing is how to get it listed and seen in YouTube. Um, you know, I just go through soup to nuts every trick I have. Um, again, if you guys know who I am, you know I'm pretty darn tricky <laughs> with social media and getting people to respond to me. Um, and so in the past, I've always done it a different way. This time, it's 12 classes. And what you do is you sit in the class while, while I record it. Okay. And th these things that I'm recording are becoming products for a later date that I will be releasing to the public. They will all be $97 a piece. So every class, like the terrific Twitter traffic uh, is going to be – Terrific Twitter tactics, maybe I should not use that name, will be a $97, you know, DVD that people can buy and so on and so forth. So there's 12 of them. Later on, I will sell them individually for $97. But once I record the class and I do the teaching, I sit and do hands-on Q&A, working with people and answering their questions. So we get that additional time. I stay until everybody's done and secure, and they have the skill down, they understand it. And then I also have a Facebook group where I'm there every day. And, you know, I didn't pull out. I'm just telling you guys about this because it's going to close. I only have a couple of spots, so I didn't do a big video and pull out testimonials, and I could have had guests on. I really could care less whether, you know, any of you guys want this or not. I just want you to know about it um, because – this is an amazing deal. Mm -hmm. Every day I'm in the group to answer your questions and look at your work. So um, again, I would pull these guys out, but we don't have time to talk about how hands-on I am. When I'm working with people, I am extremely hands-on. I am there constantly. Um, so you're never going to be heard said that Diane Hawkman is not accessible. A lot of people complain. Yeah. I'm always around. Um, and this is just crazy. And people who have been through it before know that it's soup to nuts everything. Um, it is a full 90-day plan. Uh, you know, full 90 days worth of, you know, you're doing your activity every day, but you're also learning all the skills so that next time you can up your ante with more additional skills and so on, um, plus coaching. So if you were to buy the DVDs or the videos alone by themselves later, you know, in the fall or whatever, it would be $1,200, plus that would uh, be without, with no coaching, coaching. No Facebook group, no Q&A, et cetera. It would just be you by yourself alone watching a video, which is what most people have. Everybody buys these courses, and they sit by themselves alone and try to figure it out. And for the life of me, I don't understand why people um, will always invest in that, and they sit and bang their head against the wall and want to kill themselves. I don't know if you guys have done that, you know, taken a Facebook class or this class, and you're all by yourself. I, I really firmly believe in hands-on, but people have been begging me for these products, begging me. People have been begging, Kathy, 
are people have people been begging me for years to put out products that they could watch over and over and over absolutely again yeah absolutely so this including the recordings is 497 and if you add it up it works out to about $20 an hour for spending time with me a pretty prominent person in this industry and that's not including the time in the Facebook group that's just the class time and the Q&A time so I offered this when I was in England a couple of weeks ago um, and it 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 just did exceptionally well so this time around this is being actually offered in the afternoon East Coast time because it that is for the folks to be in the evening UK time and that's the other thing that's special about this class almost always the trainings at night and a lot of people are looking for daytime training so this is going to be at 3 p.m. whoops for all you European kids uh, 3 p.m. Eastern 8 p.m. UK time which is like 9 p.m. Uh, in France and so on and so forth I don't know if at least yeah, I don't know if that's 9 or 10 in Switzerland but all they know is it's not 2 o'clock in the morning for you so um, that's available if you want that and again I didn't bring you here for the pitch I did a whole hour of training I don't care but if you want that I don't even have a sales page set up you either need to find the email I put out or email me Diane at dianehockman.com. This closes out on Wednesday unless it sells out beforehand. We do an introductory session on Thursday and we start our 12 weeks next week. So Thursday is just a get to know each other introductory session. Um, these are very special, very intense. Nobody else in the industry does anything like this. So they're pretty magical. Um, mm -hmm. Kathy, I know you're dying to say something. How did you, do you feel I me? can feel you. Feel you. You're ready to yeah, launch. Yeah. I, I so totally, you know, guys, I would not be where I am today if it weren't for these classes with Diane. I've, I've been through more than one summer with her. I've been through several summers with her. And you know, I even sent an email out to my list today, and I gave them some results that I recently have, and I told them the reason I get these kinds of results is because I studied with this lady, because I've taken what she's taught me, and I've applied it. And these classes are, I can't say enough about them, Diane. I mean, they, the, the intense summer classes that you do, they can take someone from zero to, oh, my gosh, I know what I'm doing in the course of the three months of summer. It's, it's phenomenal. Yep. It's just <laughs> phenomenal and the reason why you want to do it in the summer is first of all the rest of the year you're just too busy to do this I'm too busy to do this this is what I do this this time of year I do two things I do a December intensive notice by the way I do these classes when it's slow like when the marketplace is weird that's when I have time to do these so I do a summer uh, a summer school and I do a December intensive whether I'll do them again I don't know my career is just going so crazy I don't know if I'll have time next year um, but just one other uh, testimonial, uh, Jackie Gates just wrote on Facebook, have you ever wondered how I got over 4,000 Facebook friends in a year without ever sending out a request? Well, hardly ever. Or how I get clients begging me to coach them even though I don't even have a coaching page. I went to summer school, more particularly Diane Hoffman summer school. If you, move it, uh, if you move it, you can get her secrets, most importantly her individual attention, and make this summer your breakthrough. So Jackie's done exceptionally well. She coaches people. She's just a, a lovely woman and um, always excited to um, have Jackie, you know, share her experience. Um, I didn't ask anybody for testimonials, so if you're looking for that, you know, I could send them to you. But all you got to do is Google me and look around. Um, it's the real deal. Uh, why is it $500? Because it's a steal. If you're looking for cheap, if you're looking for cheap, <clears throat> please feel free if you're buying you know WSOs for six dollars a piece and all this other stuff I'll see you in a year <laughs> mm -hmm. as I always say mm -hmm. see you in a year that's my line so um, if you're looking to really learn this stuff this is the answer so I'm done with that notice how I don't like to pitch I really don't but I thought I should tell you guys about it so that is the end of the call if anybody else has a quick question or anything else Kath take a look feel free to type me in a question I can hang out for another minute but before we go I want to thank Vanessa, whose site never came up. <laughs> See if I get it to come up. Yeah, yeah. 
That's bad. It comes up on my end. No, I think it's like computer. Too much valuable information. It was exactly. It was. It was. Uh, there's Vanessa with the fancy N. Um, Vanessa's an incredible coach. <laughs> Check her out. Put your name on her list. Um, Love the new header, Vanessa. Yes, she's babylicious there. And then, of course, we have our our expert baby maker slash marketer. I couldn't help Let, it. <laughs> Guys, you gotta talk. Find out. <laughs> Bob is a uh, reproductive, I don't know what he is, He's, he makes babies for a living. He and his wife make babies for a living, not together for everybody, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, um, okay. And then he's also a part-time entrepreneur, incredible guy, so check out bobandrosemary.com. And again, of course, there's the inimitable <laughs> Kathy Heath. Dot com. And, and Diane, if people are looking for that email of yours, all they have to do is go to kathyheath.com forward slash summer school. I've got a copy oh, of your email oh. on my website, just forward slash summer school. There you go. I need somebody like Kathy on my team. I know. Well, you <laughs> gotta, you gotta, you gotta work long and hard to find a Kathy here to, I know. to, I know. to help you and take care of you and, and all this other stuff. And I deserve it, quite frankly. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, you are the queen, babe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Okay, I like that. It took me a long time to get comfortable with hearing that, but I like it. The queen. Um, you have a if tiara. There's, if there's anybody else that has a question. Again, I'm over at Diane Hockman. I haven't even posted summer school on my blog. It just kind of all happened. It kind of, you know, it sold in England, and it went really well. And then it was like I was in Vegas, and I got back, and I'm like, hey, I should let a couple other people know I'm doing it. So that's what's going on. Again, I don't do them. So this is, this is the only time you're going to get an experience like this with me. So any other questions or anybody want anything, or are they so done with me? Well, no, we've got a couple questions, Diane. What um, do they want? <laughs> Lisa wants to know. I'm putting back my cute um, picture. Yeah. Lisa wants to know what a 90-day plan really consists of. You need to again in the scope of this call. I do not have time to pull out all the choices for marketing methods. Okay. There's everything from putting up flyers up to learning how to run very sophisticated ads. What you need is a couple of methods that you know how to do now and you can do consistently. So for example, if you decide to do video marketing, you may be cutting and posting a video and sharing a video every single day for or at least six days a week for 90 days. Okay, that might be one of your methods. You may be running ads in newspapers every week for 90 days. You may be running ads online every week for 90 days. It totally depends on your skill set where you are and your time availability. See, everybody either has one, or two, one of two things, and if you don't have either, you've got a problem. One is time and one is money. Okay. If you have time and no money, you have to find low-cost or no-cost methods to get your word out. If you have, uh, like Bob works full-time, works in New York City, commutes every day, he has more money than time. So he has to find methods that can be working for him while he's not home. Okay, you guys follow that difference? So you have to pick and select methods. Again, if you're in, uh, you know, working on this stuff with me or if you're involved in any of my other entities, um, you really get trained up on this. These free calls that I do for the public, they're just to give you some ideas. And you can go back to your uplines and, and trainers and teachers that you work with and say to them, I want to put together a 90-day plan of my activity every single day. What do you recommend? They should be able to advise you. Kathy, look how cute my nail polish is. I cute? know. I love that color. So do I. I, I the French, French didn't, I, I wasn't happy with the French. So I'm going back yeah. to the pink. Very, very cool. People very think cool. I'm crazy. I'm busy talking about my nail polish. Another question? Well, well, well you are, but that's okay because you're Diane Hoffman. Um, I'm looking at the questions, and actually, that last question you answered about four questions in one. So, um, we're what, what did the other one say? Just out of curiosity, is there another one there? Um, about how they wrote. One of the gals <laughs> um, said, "Where is it? 
By marketing, do you mean putting out flyers, business cards, talking to people, mailings, catalogs, posting? Um, that was her take yep. on it. Yep. And um, and now and I'm other... guys. I'm an online marketer, so I'd be doing stuff online because I don't right. like to put on clothing. I I kind of like to wander around in sweatpants most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, get dressed when you don't have to? But yes, absolutely. Like if you have a company with yeah. catalogs, putting out catalogs, etc. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then another one was asking, um, do you mean like audios and videos and yes, yep. and articles and all yep. of that kind of stuff? Yep. For those of you that are members of My Lead System Pro, and I'm not going to talk about it extensively now, if you don't know what My Lead System Pro is and are not involved with it, uh, get back with me or whoever invited you here and let us give you a trial so you can see they have a extensive training oh, library yeah. that will train you on every every marketing method under the sun okay I trade on the concept I don't sit around and train on piddly stuff okay and the reason why is because piddly stuff is going to change all this stuff on the internet is going to change but gosh guys I mean I'm just logging in real quick if you look in here wait for it wait for it wait for it wait for it Oh, wait, this is the wrong one. By the way, uh, Kathy, I'm doing the mindset call tomorrow night. I am, I am, I am. Cool. Yeah, and I'm, I'm training on something really good. Um, and if you, guys get a, if you guys grab a trial t- tonight or tomorrow, you can come to that call. Um, what am I looking for? Marketing strategies. Here we go. Um, this is just a training. Ladies, I'm going to run and Jen. Yep. See you later. I got to go um, see my husband. Bye. Why? Why? Because I want to stay married. Okay, good idea. Good idea. Okay. Bye, Vanessa. Love you guys. Bye, Um, Vanessa. Guys, social networking. Here's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, meetup groups, keyword research, blogging, content article marketing, video marketing, pay-per-click, YouTube pay-per-click, Facebook pay-per-click, banner advertising, solo ads. I mean, they have everything. So that's why I love this. Um, It's a great deal and has great training. So, uh so I think we're done. Anything else? Um, the only other thing is I'm very proud to say that I pronounced Yasaki's name correctly, and um, they're Excellent. Fijian. Oh, they're from Fiji. Fiji. How cool yeah. is that? Is that cool? Well, that's, that's on my so list beautiful. of places to go. So uh, after I saw all the, all the South Pacific stuff and everything. All right. Yep. Do you very see those cool. pictures of rays from Namali? Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Oh, my mm-hmm. gosh. Oh, my gosh. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to get off. If anybody needs me, you can find me on Facebook tonight, facebook.com forward slash Diane Hockman training. Uh, or just email me direct, and I'll probably jump back on the computer in a little bit. I can uh, reply to you. If you're interested in summer school, get with me now, Diane at dianehockman.com. Really want to do that, like, right away. Um, whoops. That's another training. Diana, dianehockman.com. Get with me right away. I'll send you over an invoice via PayPal. We'll get you all set up. Uh, if you're interested in My Lead System Pro, you can go to dianehockman.com forward slash uh, MLSP or get with Kathy or Bob or whoever invited you here tonight. Um, and although you should all come with me because you like me better. I'm kidding. Go with whoever, <laughs> whoever invited you here tonight is a person. Um, they never come with me. That's the problem, Bob. They all go, she's crazy. I'm going with Bob. Um, so, and um, if you have a specific question or something, um, let me know. I'm here to help out. So, hope you guys had fun. I hope you enjoyed my my sense of insanity. Um, this is how I do it, and uh, that's it. So, everybody have a great night, Kathy and Bob. Thank you very much. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Good night, Good night everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, Bob.